Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie Transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video. And well, it's the first week of March, and I'm already back with my chart haul video for March 2K23. I figured I could shoot this like a little bit earlier in the month and not like waiting until the month is almost over like I did in February. So uh, let's dive into the three releases I like most um, throughout the past four weeks or so. Starting off with one you have seen already. Um, I've done an extensive like video on that. Of course, Combat Dubs 2 Crystals, the 2K23 repress on like dirt vinyl, as I'm what to call it. Um, this kind of like most interesting, very colored marble vinyl thing. Uh, well, I'm gonna link that proper announcement video to this one. Um, well, in the end card, I guess you know the score when it comes to like Combat Dub. That's me uh, alongside Sasha Müller. Our like shared project for like bass music, speed garage, breakbeat garage, all that good stuff. And uh, we decided to re-release this like classic from 2020. So, um, well, it's back there and there are, uh, copies are going out there to like all kinds of places, interestingly. So, uh, yeah, get this one on Bandcamp, um, you know, the score, Bandcamp up there somewhere and uh, other things, other videos down there. The next one is a re-release too, an interesting one and an essential one, of course. Um, this is the first artificial intelligence compilation sampler on Warp Records. Um, I hope you can see this amazing artwork properly, even though there might be a little bit of reflection in the foil. Back looks like this. And yeah, this is one of the most essential electronic music compilations from like back in 1993, actually. So when the techno house scene was still in its like kind of infancy and like genres in electronic music were still forming, this one came out and the artificial intelligence thing became a whole series of albums and not only including this like sampler compilation thing, but also albums from Speedy J and B12 and stuff. And what this is basically is the inception of IDM, Intelligent Techno, uh, Armchair Techno, not really ambient, but well, chill out music in its like most um, not primitive, but primal, primordial form maybe. So uh, what we got here, this a uh, lot of tracks by like pol like Polygon Window by the Dice Man, which is a long forgotten um, alias of FX Twin, of course. We got Musicology here, a Telephone 529, a super funky track. Ortegger or Crystal with his like, also like a bit of breakbeat funky thing. Uh, we got, of course, Speedy J D Orbit, which is one of his like early essential Schillhouse classics. Um, Up by Spiritual High is like Richie Horton, the now better known like Windsor based, um, king of minimal techno kind of, uh, which also um, of course like operates under the name Plastic Man. We got Dr. Alex Patterson of the Orb with Loving You Live and all this good stuff like very deep electronic car leaning, sometimes dance floor leaning techno, but all with that, that kind of like intelligent, trippy, floating, ethereal vibe. And um, this is great stuff. I missed out on this. Well, this originally came out in 1993 or 1992 even as I see so uh, because I was like 14 or 15 years old but now it's back and unfortunately it's back in its original form with like only one like LP which is a bit of a pity because well those tracks could have done with like two tracks per side like with the double album because this would have provided them with like a little bit of more dynamic feel so uh, well we cram like I don't know 25 minutes per, on one side which is like much for electronic music but uh, still a great listen and also I love this like early computer graphics um, thing here with the guy chilling on his like armchair and uh, there is like um, like his little message on the spine which says are you sitting comfortably and uh, down there if you can read this there is a statement about electronic listening music from Warp. So um, yeah, this is like an essential re-release, which everyone who is like only slightly interested in electronic music uh, should have for sure, because well, this is one of the well great um, 
albums and compilations that have been influential to like well generations of artists to follow I guess and the next one is on a totally different trip even though it's um, electronic as well kind of so this is on the Dutch label Knickelhoes I guess this is how you pronounce this and this is a uh, an album from a Viennese duo that is called Gaia aus Stahl. As you can see here, and the album is called Strapazen und Genesung. This is a very interesting thing and also a very interesting print, so it's like a nice texture to it as well. Here's the track list. And what this is, is well, the most depressing and desolate and grayscalish, like minimal wave experimental wave album i've heard in a, in a while so i discovered this by chance actually and well this is if you imagine like a zombie meets creatures of the night meets urban apocalypse basement party in like some illegal underground basement in a rundown house where everyone is like on heroin or uh, similar downers and uh, in a kind of zombie mode late night very depressed very like 80s but super grayscale uh, this is what Gaia Ostal is I'm not too sure if I ever gonna play this out on a dance floor because there needs to be a little bit of a very specific vibe to enjoy that on the dance floor but overall I like this kind of minimal wave, synth wave feeling with a very stripped down and, uh, well, extremely grayscale ish thing. Reminds me a little bit of the 80s when everyone was like uh, a bit influenced uh, by the tension between the like Western Bloc and the former like so Soviet Union, U uh, UDSSR, as we called this, like the Union of Soviet Republics, I guess. and. When there was like a threat of a nuclear war, Berlin was still like a rundown shithole where everybody uh, that wouldn't like uh, want to join the army in Germany like kind of ran to and escaped and stuff. And yeah, this is very much that kind of 80s feeling and yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. The first proper album by Gaia Ausstrahl, even though they have um, popped up on several like Viennese compilations before and um, one guy behind that project has been like active in other uh, uh, other like uh, music musical guises, I guess. But uh, as Gaia of Style, this is uh, their first proper album, and this is highly recommended. And interestingly, released on that Dutch label Knickelhuis, which is uh, an interesting combination to see, like an artist from Austria going with that kind of music and German lyrics uh, to a Dutch label. So uh, well, this is the thing and this is one I might play at the Bitterzafall at the very like last hour or so depending on how long the party goes but or on or in like other like non dance floor related things I guess maybe probably so I don't know but yeah that's it um, with my like chart haul for this month three tracks or three uh, albums only I guess but there might be more there might be less I don't know I got some, some news to share in the future because there's like a bigger media feature coming up for me uh, which I'm very excited about, like an international media feature and uh, I've prepared some stuff for that and otherwise I've been working on radio stuff for sure and uh, getting like things done and uh, I'm waiting for the next, um, or for the last Radio Fuka show to pop up on SoundCloud so my SoundCloud is down there. If you want to have a look, because this is like or has been like a beta zafal special, so a little bit of post punk and also with like tracks by painting and stuff in there. So um, going a little away from the electronic DJ vibe with that show, but like strolling more around in the post punk realm and stuff. But this is to come, so watch out for my SoundCloud and other things. Of course, Bandcamp, which is up there as well as usual. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'm out, Space Junkie for. Uh, like my chart haul for March this year and I'm gonna go into editing mode. See you in the next one.